Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Sunday, March 31st. A Tesla Cybertruck owner has been quoted over $30,000 for a PowerShare installation to enable his electric pickup truck to power his house. When Tesla unveiled the production version of the Cybertruck late in the year, the automaker finally confirmed it was its first bi-directional charging capable vehicle. The feature allows Cybertruck owners to use the battery packs in the trucks to power virtually anything from the outlets in the bed of the vehicle, even another electric vehicle. Through Tesla's new PowerShare product, Cybertruck owners can also power their homes in the case of an outage. The company previously said that Powerwall owners already have the required hardware to use the feature, and if not, you can use Tesla's universal wall connector and a gateway. A Cybertruck owner shared his code to install Tesla PowerShare at his house. For the cost of enabling PowerShare alone without Powerwalls, he is being quoted $33,837, which includes a $24,000 upgrade to increase the power input into the house. This is reminiscent of the early days of the Powerwall when buyers were being given crazy installation quotes when Tesla started working with third parties. The idea of PowerShare and bi-directional charging is that it is a cheaper way to get backup power because you already have the battery in your vehicle. The electric hardware and installation cost are the difference makers. Tesla now says that it expected its own 4680 battery cells to become cheaper than those coming from suppliers by the end of the year. The 4680 cell was a big bet for Tesla which had never produced cells before. The automaker was going against giant companies like LG, Panasonic, and KATL. Tesla believes its cells will beat nickel-based cells from suppliers based on cost by the end of the year. Nickel-based cells have higher energy density and are used in electric vehicles with longer range. Tesla's 4680 cells are currently exclusively used in the Cybertruck. If Tesla went from not being a cell manufacturer to being a high volume cell manufacturer with a cheaper cost than the competition within five years, it is impressive. Also, the 4680 program was born out of a concern that with other automakers ramping up their battery cell orders, it would put a lot of pressure on prices at its suppliers. Tesla stock surged 12% today, one of the biggest days in a long time, as Elon Musk tries to position Tesla to ride the artificial intelligence wave. Despite the slump in Q1 deliveries, Tesla stock surged 12% today. This could be due to Tesla's announcement that it changed its plans about how to bring cheaper vehicles to market. Tesla postponed the new $25,000 Tesla based on the automaker's new unboxed manufacturing technology. Many investors and analysts were concerned about this as a large percentage of Tesla's expected growth was based on this model. Tesla has confirmed that its change in strategy still involves cheaper models that will be built on existing manufacturing lines. This was a big positive for investors, although the plan is currently light on details. Musk is also putting Tesla all in on RoboTaxi. The CEO reiterated that if you don't believe that Tesla could solve autonomy, you shouldn't own the stock. Musk is trying to position Tesla to ride the AI wave that is currently taking over the tech industry. Tesla is currently building a massive 100 megawatt data center with NVIDIA hardware at Gigafactory, Texas. The company plans to use its AI training capacity to train its full self-driving system with a million of miles being driven with a supervised version of the system. While many people remain skeptical, it does appear that Tesla is gaining credibility regarding AI and its self-driving effort, which is contributing to the stock surge. EV conversion specialist Ivarati announced a reshuffling of its business-to-business -business strategy, rebranding the division as Powered by Ivarati. The branding partially results from the increased customers to the business-to-business -business division. Ivarati is a UK-based restoration company that specializes in EV conversions of timeless classics like the Porsche 911 and Land Rovers. However, in addition to its own EV revamps, Ivarati shares its proprietary technology to help other businesses go all-electric. The goal at the time was to provide high-tech consultancy services to clients from initial concepts and feasibility studies through scalable low volume production of EV conversions. Everati said it would initially focus on low volume luxury vehicle conversions, aiding in every step of the process from design, development, engineering, and production consulting to help its customers create any bespoke powertrain design they want. At this point, in its development of an EV conversion technology, Everati is confident that its powertrains will reduce development and launch timelines, risks, and overall costs. Everati's vehicle control unit architecture can reduce the cost of new electric vehicle programs by up to 70% and clients have taken notice. China's CATL introduced its new Shenzhen Plus EV batteries capable of adding 370 miles of range in 10 minutes. The new EV battery is the world's first with 4C ultra fast charging and 620 miles of range. The EV battery giant dominates the industry after leading again in 2023 for the seventh straight year. 
CATL's share of the market reached as high as 36.8% in 2023. Its latest battery Shenzhen Plus uses cheaper, more advanced lithium iron phosphate for even faster charging. The new battery can gain a 1 km range in as little as 1 minute. Even at extreme temperatures, the new battery offers super fast charging. To improve the energy density, CATL introduced a 3D honeycomb material. As a result, the Shenzhen Plus has an energy density of 205 watt hours per kilogram. With even cheaper, more advanced battery tech launching, CATL is enabling more buyers globally to go electric. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that Tesla's vision-only self-driving plan may have hurt their level 5 autonomy prospects. Well, Tesla has achieved a high level of autonomy using vision-only. This also makes the project very lean and might have been a good long-term plan for developing self-driving. Other automakers such as Xping are following suit. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.